Burrito Boy. Burrito Boy Franklin only has an other number. Would you like to call it? Yep. To call the other number for Burrito Boy Franklin. Say yes. If not, say no. Damn it, Siri. Yes. Yes. Yes is the same thing as yep. Yeah, I uh, just wanted to place a to-go order. Okay, go ahead. Uh, a bacon breakfast burrito, and could you put uh, the green sauce in the burrito, please? Sure, anything else for you? No, that's it for me. All right, give about five, ten minutes. All right, thank you. Not live without this. Let's go. Hey, how you doing? Is that little fat bird out there again? A what? Fat bird. This fat. bird played me for hours. I thought this bird couldn't fly. I was trying not to cry. It almost got right over twice. A big dog goes by and then it just flew away. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Fat bird. Any snacks? No, I'm good, thank it's you. It's a big, fat, it's a, well, it's not really that big. Smaller than a crow, but it's a little fat guy. It's a fat little guy. And then I swear, I got this close to him. What bird lets you get that close to him, okay? Unless they're hurt. Yeah, and that's true. And then a freaking, like, it was hours later that a big dog came by and he like, just flew away. And I was like, are you- Played, you got played like, by a bird. I, I, yes, I swear the bird was like, I guess he wanted food and he was like, I saw helpless. I even took a thing of water out. That was nice of you. <laughs> I was gonna die. You have a good day. You too, Dave. I have no fucking idea what just happened. Um, that might have been the neatest surprise of the day and may top the fishing itself. We will fucking see. So, if I don't catch fish today, I'm gonna do a review on this. I hope this video doesn't have to get posted today because I really, really want to catch fish. But everybody needs a plan B, right? I've already inflated the pontoons, so let's start putting this together. Here's the rack that I mentioned last time that I forgot. That made for a shitty day. Uh, the fit is a little tight, so I keep some tools here. Screwdriver, just in case. A little crescent wrench. Crescent wrench? Am I mixing that up? Whatever. Uh, and my little hammer. Bam. Disco. Sometimes, nothing beats a good kick in the ass. I've had a lot of those. Try to avoid kicks in the asses now. Actually causes a lot of drag in the water. I'm a dumbass and didn't realize that for a while.
Whoops. All right, so there it is assembled. I want with this because my truck up there has a five foot bed and a canopy. I don't have a rack, I don't have a trailer. So a kayak was kind of out. Um, the stability in this is fantastic. Uh, I like the storage um, and I take it on the Umpqua in the summer. So I'm really not comfortable taking a, a even a really stable kayak, uh, sit on top kayak was what I was looking at through any sort of rapid. Um, I don't take this through big rapids, but there are some rough spots. So for me, it was worth the uh, extra time to disassemble and assemble so I can throw it in the back of the truck. Um, you can actually mount a trolling motor if you want. I haven't found the need because I use it for small ponds, as you can see out here. So, so far no fish. Uh, we are going to continue the review. So, um, classic accessories, uh, Colorado XTS. One man pontoon boat. I think these are eight and a half foot pontoons. The XT is basically the same as the XTS, but the S has a swivel seat. Uh, I opted for that because it seemed cool. I had no idea how damn cool it was gonna be. Um, what I didn't think about being a noob to pontoon boats is the way the current is going or the wind is going when you drop anchor always faces you one direction. I often want to fish in different directions. I just spin that swivel seat around, throw my feet up on the side of the pontoon. You know, I, I, I can almost fish from uh, a 360, 360 degrees. Um, for small ponds, slow rivers in the summer, I absolutely love it. I've had zero issues. Um, I got the assembly going on. You saw that. So, you know, for me to get this to fit in a, a, a five foot bed, it's been great. All right, well, again, hopefully this isn't the video that gets posted. I got a couple hours of light left. Uh, eating a bite of food and then um, go do some more fishing.